Marissa. I'm out of New York because it is Corona Central. So the good news is even though that you're quarantined right now, I'm able to provide you with online classes, which is going to be super fun and interesting considering I'm pretty good at my video editing skills if I do say so myself. Um, today we're going to talk about She's in Love and for you guys, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing a section from our latest competition, and that will be the specific section that you will be working on at home. I'm going to specify counts, I'm going to go over the choreography, and then you, your task is to video yourself doing that specific choreography as clean as possible to the correct counts so that we can get as clean as possible in your own quarantine section at home so that whenever we do get to be together again in person, everything is nice and neat and we won't have to go over stuff as much. Cool? Cool. <laughs> I'm going to not count the whole beginning part. Michaela did a really good job about being overly dramatic in her interpretation of the words at the very beginning of She's in Love, but she was also in the center of the stage, so it's even more obvious whenever she's doing her little talking part. So if you have a part in that very beginning section and you're not in the middle of the stage, you've got to make it 10 times bigger than what she's already doing because you have to be able to pull focus to the other side of the stage. So keep that in mind whenever we come back into the studio, but right now we're just going to go over the very beginning of the choreography after you do your passe walk to your spot on the stage. But I'm going to be overly descriptive so that you all can understand it perfectly and you can do it in the comfort of your home so that it's 100% clean. So what we're gonna do is start with our passe walks and they start on one. Your right foot's gonna go into the passe. So we go one, two, three, four. So those pops and walks need to be all the way touching your knee pad. One, two, three, four. You go sit, five, six, seven, eight. So you just do hip right, hip left, and then you sit on your right hip. And your hands are doing this little whoop motion. You then paddle turn, but you're gonna do a little sit. One, two, three, four. Okay, and your hands are like this little swishy motion. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and. So you're just doing a zigzag, left, right, left, right. After that, you're going to do your big rainbow arms sliding into the shadow. One, two, three, four, you're gonna kick. Five with your right, six with your left, then point, not point, you're going to flip your hand. Seven, eight. You're going to go roll. One, two, open on. Three, four, come around. Five, six, stand up. Seven, eight. We have five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Twice through. 
the entire thing, as full out as you can. I know a lot of you don't have a lot of space, but do it as full out as possible. And then you can make your own kind of self critiques of I'm unsure of this part. I'm not entirely sure what leg I start on, that sort of thing. So then if you have any questions for me when we do get to that part, I can answer them and we can continue on as we go. So that's our first assignment for this week. Um, my email is marissabgarrison at hotmail.com. I will also put it here so that you can visualize what that looks like. Um, that's where you'll email all of your videos to me and then we can begin our assignments for these upcoming, you know, however long we're going to have to do this quarantine stuff. But I just want to let you guys know that you are loved and we miss you. And even though this is a little bump in the road, I promise you you're not the only ones that are having to go through this. Every single dance studio in America is going through this. And all we have to do is just be positive about it and just keep dancing and doing what we love because art is a release and it's a great way to express yourself even if you're just in your home. So I can't wait to see your sweet faces again and we can actually be in person and do this for real. But I love you guys and just keep working hard and I will see you guys soon.